Hey guys, Pastor President is my name. I want to share something very beautiful. I consider these two things the problem of every human being. I like to always tell people that every human being is beautiful. Every human being is nice. Every human being is good, right? But there's two things that cause problems for humans, right? Two things. And that's what I want to quickly share with you. It's very important that you understand this. Look at it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If the world was not good, right, God will not love it so much to give. I'm not saying that the world is good in actions. But you need to understand that it was God that put the world together. Every human being is beautiful. They were created by God. Satan did not create anybody. The sun, the moon, the, the rain, the stars, everything was created by God. Every of the negative and terrible things that you find is Satan twisting the good things that God has created. So these two things I want to pay attention to number one an influence of darkness and number two and a, a possession of darkness two things an influence of darkness and a possession of darkness these are two satanic structure that brings good things to bad things an influence of darkness is the programming of darkness. When we've been programmed to be wicked, when we've been programmed to live in lust, when we've been programmed to hate people, when we've been programmed by some very excellent, nice, earthly things that does not walk the righteousness of God. When we've been programmed by all this stuff, right? Then the next one, right? And of course, some of that even moves by genetical transfer. Remember, he says the first man of the earth, Etty. Okay, so even when our parents give birth to us, genetically they transferred some natural characters to us. And that natural characters just begin to blow up in us. When someone says, I'm angry because my father was angry. Now, it was a, gen it was a natural character. First, we understand that the Bible says that we give birth, marry uh, godly people, that, that we give birth to godly seed, right? Because of that, naturally, we just produce something nice. But of course, we also understand those negative transfers. And then we also have an action of satanic impute. When the power of darkness, the cloud of darkness, a demon or a power uh, uh, begins to walk through someone, takes possession, that means they begin to do things things that they, they cannot help themselves of. And these two even work in that way. Because if you've been programmed of flesh, right, what happens is your subconscious begins to act like that. And of course, psychology says your subconscious takes about 95%, while your active mind takes about 5%. And that thing you have lived with for so long will just be your natural action, naturally. So if we will deal with these two things, then every man will be beautiful. And how do we deal with these two things? The natural programming is dealt with by the teachings of Christ. Excellent teachings. The whole counsel of God, when we teach it consistently, continuously, never getting tired. Everyday teaching. Remember it says that ye be not adding by the deceitfulness of, of sin. Then it says exhort yourself while it is called today. So every time teaching, never getting tired of listening to the word. That will naturally begin to reprogram you. And then the other one, when we receive Christ of the power of God, what happens? It, 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 that, that Christ right, will overpower our spirit and then Satan cannot have power over our spirit anymore. That's why we say the guy who is born again cannot be possessed because you cannot be born of the spirit of God. Like, like Light and darkness cannot live in the same spirit. So the one who is born of God does not have Satan inside them. They can only have Satan outside suggested. So if you deal with these two things, if you introduce people to the power of God from the word of God and also introduce them, keep them in the teachings of, of God, you'll be amazed that sometimes they might even act a better character or a, a nicer character than you. But you see, when they continue to fellowship with the works of darkness, they cannot be beautiful. So every human being is beautiful. Yes, when we look at them in Christ, they are beautiful. And then we hope that they begin to receive of Christ in the fellowship and learning of Christ, that they begin to manifest beautiful character. Ephesians chapter number 4, from 17 to, to, to 20, it says, you have not well learned Christ. So you need to learn Christ to have a change. Romans chapter number 12, verse number 2, be not conformed to this word, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ephesians 4, it says, by the renewing of the spirit of your mind. So when you give into Christ of his power and of his word consistently, you most likely will begin to manifest like Christ because you are of his seed. Glory to God. So these two things, don't forget it. An influence of uh, darkness and, 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 and then a possession of darkness, which is of training and, of course, the works of darkness that programs people. So if we will give in to the world more frequently and then we will pray for people, if we will pray for people and teach them the word of God, You'll be amazed what can happen in their life. Because nobody, nobody desired to be wicked. They were programmed like that or they were, they were they are, they are walking under a power push that they cannot really control. Think about that. 
So everyone is beautiful. Never look at people suspicious. Remember, in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse number 16, it says, Henceforth know we no man according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Hallelujah. So if we look at someone who is messing up, we see the spirit there. Oh, this is satanic spirit. Oh, yeah, wrong teaching. So we know how to combat that. Okay, but if we see someone who also is of, the, of, of Christ, but of course cannot manifest perfectly, we say, okay, Pure in the spirit, but not pure in character. Pure, uh, uh, righteous in the, in, in, the, in the spirit, but not righteous in action. So we know what to do. Feed him with the word. Feed him with the word. Feed him with the word. And pray for him all the time. And then if he receives that ministry, right, we are very sure that he will come to become an excellent person and become very sweet. Thank you for listening. I believe this really brings you a lot of blessing. And I want you to use it for your good. If we use these two things, th these things I've just shared, you'll be amazed how you'll be changing people, how you live a more beautiful life without suspicion, and how you too yourself will be getting better of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again next time.